All right, let's try this again. My cat just knocked like the power supply off and killed the camera. I'm Ellis, you're you. That's a leap on the screen. He's gonna play Bon Jovi, It's My Life. And let's do a guitar intro, cause like it's fun to do guitar intros. <laughs> There we go. Guitar intro. Yay. Uh, bon Jovi, It's My Life. Bon Jovi is one of those dudes who... Anthem rock. Anthem awesome rock. I, I knew that I liked Bon Jovi, but I didn't know that I loved some Bon Jovi until I played uh, drums on Rock Band. Which, if you want to learn drums as a music professional, I cannot recommend anything more than I recommend a rock band. Rock band one, two, and three with the cymbal attachments. It's a fantastic way to learn percussion. No, I'm not sponsored. No, there's not a link below or anything. It's just, I always wanted to play drums and until I played them on rock band, I, I just sucked. Anyways, uh, and there, cause there's a, there's a Bon Jovi song that's like on rock band two. I would play the hell out of it, but I don't remember which song it is. Anyways, so I'm a little out of breath from chasing the cat out or whatever. A leap. Bon Jovi, it's my life. Let's do this. That's what I'm talking about. The last couple of Elite videos we watched were like really cool and chill, but I like rockin' Elite. I like that version. Oh, it sounds like his, <laughs> his E is tuned down to a B. It's a C. I think he tuned his low E down to a C. And uh, making your string detuned that low when you're playing a guitar makes the string, the, the more your string is detuned, right? The more it travels up and down when you hit it and set it into motion. So when you go really low, you end up with a little bit of a rattle where the string brushes against your frets and it's a kind of a cool sound. See if you can listen to hear that when he does it. You'll hear a little rattle. That's sick. Also, it's the first time I've seen him do tambora. Uh, tambora is right there. Uh, so tambora is typically when you strike the bridge of the guitar. I don't know which guitar to use. Should I use the steel string or the classical? Who cares? Um, so you you beat the bridge, and the 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 benefit you get is that it makes the strings ring and also sounds like a drum. Right? So you can actually hold a chord and just, as I'll set it on the table. Kind of, it's a weird thing. This arrangement. Dude, it's just so slick. So, you know, let's dissect a, uh, a lick that we hear Elite do a lot, which is a little blues uh, riff, and I do it a lot myself because it's it's really fun. Um, right here, I think. Now let me back up further. 
right there. Da -da 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 -da. It's a little ornament. And how you do it, I don't know if we're tuned differently. I think it seems like we're good. So basically what you're doing is you're going from, I'm on the, the third string of, I'm on the third string, the G string. Going from my third fret to the fifth. Uh, I might use my third finger on my pinky. He uses pinky that time. Um, and then what you're going to do is do a quick slide up and down, five to six. So you add a hammer on, and they pull off. It's just a cool little, it sounds like really humanistic. So you can watch him do that again. Though. It's one of those things you don't know how to explain. Like, it's not the hardest thing he's played, but for some reason, this is one of my favorites he's ever done. It's just like, it's got a really cool feel to it with the tapping of the left hand and then the uh, drumming with the right. Oh, and let's go ahead and talk a little bit about how he's getting that percussion sound. He's doing a couple of different things, uh, three, three different things. So here, watch. And because he's playing more with his fingers, he's doing a little differently than he normally does. So how he normally gets his snare drum sound is by taking his pinky and tapping it against the, the uh, front of the guitar below the sound hole. Right? Here, because he's using he's, uh, his fingers are more preoccupied, he's using his nail of his thumb and tapping the front of the guitar for his snare drum. And for his bass, he's using the ball of his hand, the, ball, the base of his hand, and smacking like here. I don't like any of those sounds on this guitar. Let me switch guitars. Um, how about here? Sorry, that's my watch. Let me take that off. That's my watch hitting the guitar to make it sound like a snare drum by accident. Here we go. Now it's just a bass drum. Snare, bass drum. Right? Get even a basser sound on the bridge. So we got the snare with the pinky tapping below the sound hole. You can also have a snare with your thumbnail tapping above higher pitch and your bass drum is the base of your hand hitting around this portion of the guitar or the bridge A triplet, a triplet, a triplet, a tri or um, no wait. No, I guess he's doing steady sixteenths. Fucking do 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 He's pulling off to open string. So the, the first half of the riff, he's sliding down. So this, the, the slid down note counts as a note, right? So he's just sh shifting his hand. And then down in the first position of the neck, he's pulling off to open strings, um, which helps a little bit. It makes it about 20, 
20% easier, 25% easier. How am I coming up with that number, right? Because if you're playing four notes, but only three of them take a finger, then one out of four notes doesn't require a fretting hand. So about 25%. Depends on how fast you're playing. <laughs> I love that low C. Bow, bow. Um, the other thing that happened a lot was uh, the keeping the, the hammered on notes. Let's move my mic pack. I need a longer mic pack. So um, this is like not even in frame. I need to move the camera. So actually, let's have fun. Let's go down to it. Let's go down to D. No cool rhythm, but so like what? Right, wait, so like I don't really do this stuff. Yeah, okay, so I'm not doing it to show off the drumming because obviously I suck at the drumming. I'm talking about the note that never dies over here. So, when you hammer it on, come straight down on your finger, now you have a note. Now what you want to do is take that finger and pull your finger, this is a little weird, a little counterintuitive. Most people pull their finger off the guitar, they do this, but there's no sound there when you do that. So what you want to do is actually pull your finger perpendicular to the guitar, you want to pull down, and now it rings again. That will keep the sound going. Ha! My drumming sucked. I told you I don't do the beating on the guitar thing. It's not something. It's not something I never practiced because I uh, I didn't have someone like a leap. Most of the guitar stuff that I play is because there was someone who I thought was awesome and I copied them. And so there's not really a dude like a leap that I thought was really awesome until now. I see him. Now I want to learn how to do what he does, but uh, obviously. Obviously, I am far short of that. Anyhow, thanks for spending your time with me and watching a leap. And I ain't gonna tell you nothing to do. Live your life. It's my life, no, it's your life. Whatever, it's a stupid ending. Man, have a great day wherever you are.